Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raorkela in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now, let's see how to solve this given question. Here, we are given that x is equal to 1 into 3 by 3 into 6 plus and so on. It's in front of you. We need to show that 9x square plus 24x is 11, okay? Now, if you see, if you observe this question, okay, the pattern is already pretty decent. We just need to improvise it a bit. We need to add something, that's it. Two terms in the numerator, two terms in the denominator, three terms in the numerator. I mean, product of two terms here, product of two terms here, product of three terms in the numerator, 135, product of three terms in the denominator, 369. So, likewise, the pattern is pretty good. But something is missing. See, if you observe here, there is product of two terms. Then, where is a single term by single term? And where is a one? We know that these kind of series start with one. So, I need one, and also I need to add, see, here there is 1, 3, 3, 6, okay, 3, 6 came extra, now 5, 9 came extra, now 7, 12 came extra. So, for the term before this, I need to remove this 3, 6. So, I need to basically add 1 by 3. Also, as I already mentioned, these kind of uh, patterns start begin with 1. So, I need to add 1 plus 1 by 3, 1 and 1 by 3 on two sides. All, all good. So, basically, I need to add 1 plus 1 by 3 on two sides. Fine, if I were to do that, this is what I'd get 1 plus 1 by 3 plus x here and here I have 1 plus 1 by 3 and so on. Now, if the pattern is really good now. One term in the numerator, one term in the denominator. Product of two terms here, product of two terms here. Fine. Now, I'm going to do some little here and there, okay, so that, you know, I, I can get it into the pattern which I require, okay, or the formula which I'm going to use. I'm sure you're familiar, but yes, let the suspense be. So, here just take LCM and the LHS. 3 will go here, 3 plus 1 by 3. There's nothing but okay. This one by three, this one by three. Okay. Now, this one you leave it okay in the in this pattern. Okay, one needs to be left out as it is. In the next term in this term, the here I'm going to write it as one by one into one by three. Why? Because here I want a one factorial. Okay, here I want a one factorial. Next, this one okay, this three is nothing but three into one. This is nothing but three into two. 3, the, here all these are rotated as 3 into 2, 3 into 3, here this one came as 3 into 2, 3 into 3, 3 into 4. Fine, so you can observe, I am trying to construct a pattern here. In our pattern, basically there will be 1 factorial, 2 factorial, 3 factorial and so on. And along with that, there will be increasing powers of a number. Okay, now how I am going to get it is C. So this would be nothing but 4 by 3 plus X LHS. Now see, this one I wrote it as 1 factorial. Next. So this here what, what exactly happened see 3 into 3 into 2 okay so this into this 2 i brought it outside and this 2 i wrote it as 1 into 2 that's okay okay one, 2 i can write it as 1 into fine and 1 into 3 in the numerator i wrote it outside next here if you observe here this 1 into 3 into 5 by this one so 1 into 3 into 5 i brought it here and then likewise uh, that in the denominator we have here here we have 3 into 2 into 3, okay, uh, I'm sorry, 3 into 3 into 2 into 3 into 3. So, this 2 into 3, I wrote it outside here, like 1 into 2, 1 into 2 into 3, I wrote it as, fine. Why? Because I want it as a factorial, I want it as a factorial. And next, likewise, the 3s, okay, the 3s, I push them into one bracket. Here also, I push them into one bracket here, okay. So, that's how I got a pattern. Now, still a little more. So, 1 by 3 into 3, I can write it as 1 by 3 whole square. 1 by 3 into 3 into 3, I can write it as 1 by 3 whole cube. And 1 by 3 into 3 into 3 into 3, I can write it as 1 by 3 whole power 4. Okay. I know it might be a bit boring, okay, but still be with me. I'm trying to explain my best in case if you still have any doubts, please come in the comment section so that I can clarify that. Okay. Now next, what is 1 into 2? 1 into 2 is 2 factorial. What is 1 into 2 into 3? 3 factorial. 1 into 2 into 3 into 4? 4, 4 factorial. Fine. So now, as I mentioned, if I if you just take up whatever I told just now, so ultimately you, you will end up with this. Now, this is the pattern what I was looking for. This is the pattern that I was looking for. Now, if you observe, I have 1 factorial and 1 by 3 whole power 1. I have 2 factorial, 1 by 3 whole square. 3 factorial, 1 by 3 whole cube. 4 factorial, 1 by 3 whole power 4. So, you see, this pattern is going on pretty decent. And whenever there is power 2, there are two terms in the numerator here, power 3, three terms. I mean, product of two terms here, product of three terms here, product of four terms here, 1, 3, 5, 7. Fine. The pattern is good. Now, this one, I'm going to compare it with this. This is the formula which I said, I mentioned that I'm going to use. Okay. This is that formula. 
1 plus p by p by 1 factorial into x by q you see it's perfectly matching here x by q x by q whole square x by q whole cube and p into p plus q here 1 into 3 so if you compare okay p is nothing but 1 and x by q is nothing but 1 by 3 and p is nothing but 1 here p plus q would be 3 those are the things which i'm going to write p is 1 p plus q is 3 and x by q is 1 by 3 next next so put p as 1 here so 1 plus q is 3 so basically q is 2 next x by q is 1 by 3 q i got it as 2 so just put it here so x by 2 is 1 by 3 and send that send this 2 to this side so it will be x is nothing but 2 by 3 i hope things are good next so okay now you might be wondering why i'm comparing this one with this pattern okay why i'm comparing this one with this pattern because this pattern which you are seeing one plus p by one factor into x by q and so on which is going on this pattern is nothing but it can be strung to one minus x whole power minus p by q what is that one minus x whole power minus p by q so that's why that's why this entire thing is nothing but one minus x whole power minus p by q and if you see in the rhs of this this is also nothing but one minus x whole power minus p by q okay so 4 by 3 plus x is nothing but equal to 1 minus x whole power minus p by q but the p q and x are different okay we just calculated it right we i just showed you the calculation just now p q and x i found it out so that's what it is okay and for your information this x and this x is different this is like this would be replaced with this okay fine for the basic understanding and you know in the textbook it's given like this one in a similar way i mentioned it here next so i substituted the values how they are like x is 2 by 3 and p is 1 and q is 2 so you can see it in the meanwhile here i took lcm send this 3 here so 4 plus 3x by 3 now 4 plus 3x by uh, this i am writing it as 3x plus 4 by 3 now here also take lcm 3 minus 2 by 3 whole power minus 1 by 2 so 1 by 3 whole power minus 1 by 2 because 3 minus 2 is 1 now this is like a by b whole power minus m okay a by b whole power minus m is nothing but b by a whole power m okay so that 1 by 3 whole power minus 1 by 2 would be nothing but 3 by 1 whole power 1 by 2 because the minus goes away when we do such reciprocals. Chalo, now next uh, 3 by 1 is nothing but 3 so 3x plus 4 by 3 is nothing but 3 power 1 by 2 3 power 1 by 2 is nothing but root 3. So yes then I'll send this 3 here 3x plus 4 is nothing but 3 root 3. Okay now. In the question, they have asked us 9x square plus 24x, okay. So, basically square is involved. So, I am going to square on both sides of this equation. 3x plus 4 equal to 3 root 3. Just square on both sides. This is what you would get. And just expand 3x a square plus b square plus 2ab. Now, if you see this one square, 3 square is nothing but 3 and root 3 square is here. That's why 9 into 3. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just told 3 square is 3. Okay, sorry. 3 square is 9 and root 3 whole square is nothing but 3. Fine. Thank you. So, 3x whole square is nothing but 9x square plus 16 plus 24x is equal to 27. Now, send this 16 this side. Okay. So, 9x square plus 24x would be nothing but 27 minus 16. 9x square plus 24x is 11. That's it. Thank you very much for staying with me up till now. I know it might have been a bit uh, boring, but yeah, but still studies are needed. Anyways, I tried my best to keep it simple and I hope you liked it. In case you like this video, please hit the like button. It will encourage me to make many more of such videos. And if this is your first time coming across to my channel, please do subscribe to it. Thank you.